Hey everybody, it's Wendy, it's Wednesday, and I'm live here with John Nolan of Greenville History Tours, and we were just having a fun time talking, and so we just kind of want to tell you John's story. He offers this wonderful service here in Greenville. Um, he started with, what, Greenville History Tours, yes. but he's expanded it to culinary tours, and who knows what else is coming. So. John, how long have you been doing Greenville History Tours? I uh, started coming up on 12 years ago. Wow. So I was actually the first uh, tour company in Greenville. Aren't you the only one? I don't really know of any <laughs> other one. <laughs> well, uh, the ghost tours started right around that same okay. time. And then um, there's, what else is there? There's Segway Tours. Oh yeah, that's right. And there's bike tours. Bike as tours, well. yeah. yes. Um, there's been a couple of other kind of startups that have not lasted. Okay. Uh, some food tour ones, actually. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. So you are saying your most popular tour is what these days? It's the Chef's Table Culinary Tour by far. Um, okay. I've been doing that the longest. That was my first food tour. And I partner with the Table 301 uh, restaurant group. Good friends of ours. We had Michael Kramer on and uh, yeah. uh, Kim Eads on the show. We, nice. Yeah. So, so uh, we started this eight years ago and um, just wanted to create a new way of experiencing downtown. You know, even with people that are familiar with the restaurants, um, you get to meet chefs on the tour. So it's a, you know, you don't always get to do that and you learn about Greenville on the tour. And so it's just a fun three hour, five restaurant sampling. And so I've gotten to the point now where everyone sells out. So okay. It's been, wow. become very popular. Okay, so what days of the week do you do the culinary tours? So that particular tour I do every Tuesday night at six. Okay. And then Saturdays at one thirty. Okay. So it's kind of Saturday's a busy day, so I do it kind of in between their lunch and dinner time. Okay. Excellent. Cool. So what does it look like if someone were to go on a culinary tour? Tell us what that looks like. So um we start at the first restaurant. The sh I'll explain what's happening throughout the tour. And I always uh, have people do name tags where they put their first name and then their favorite food. Okay. So it's kind of an icebreaker. People can you know start to get to know each other. Yeah. And um, the chef will come out and explain the dish that they prepared. So it's not a set menu at all. Okay. And the chefs do something different every single time. Wow. We have so, great chefs in this oh, town. Yeah. I've never had the same tour twice in eight years. Yeah, so, Greenville is a foodie town. Yeah. I mean, it really is. If you have never been to Greenville, come experience John's tour. He'll show you the ropes, but then there's so many other great restaurants to explore here. So yeah. come hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. So in addition to the culinary tour, mm -hmm. you started a breakfast tour. Yes. And then you do history tours. So tell us about the other tours that sure. you offer. So um, the other uh, the other longest running tour I have for food is the barbecue tour. So it's actually a driving tour. So I pick people up downtown, and we go to Henry's, Bucky's, and Mike and Jeff's. Okay. So you know they're sort of the real deal joints that are outside of downtown, yeah. been around forever. So Yum. that's been very popular, and then. I thought, I'm always thinking, okay, what's next? Yeah. So, um, breakfast scene in Greenville is relatively new as far as downtown. You know, there's there hasn't been a whole lot of places for a while, but now there is. So, um, I wanted to capture an experience in the early part of the day. So, uh, we go to Famous Toastery, Biscuit Head, and Le Petit Croissant. Okay. And that tour is different every time, too. So, it's... Two of those um, I haven't even heard of. So. <laughs> That's awesome. Good. So, tell us about a history tour. What does that look like, and you know, what can people expect for yep. history tours, and when can they take them? Yeah. So the original tour that Enjoy. I started out with 12 years ago was the West End walking tour. So that's just your general yeah. sweeping history of Greenville from our early days through the textile era, through the revitalization, but also things that are going on now. I mean, there's so much happening. Yeah. And then stuff that's about to happen. So I kind of fill people in on all of that. So um, that kind of concentrates in the park and river walk area. So it's okay. a one hour walking tour. Right. 
general. Yeah. So who typically comes on these tours? Is it people who are from out of town, people who live here? The walking tour usually is uh, people visiting. Okay. I get I get plenty of locals too, but um, uh, a lot of empty nesters, you yeah. know, that are coming to Greenville or Asheville and looking around, scoping things out. Yeah. So I love being able to be the the front line of Greenville. You know, yeah. people come here for the first time and I get to be the cheerleader for Greenville. So. We work well together. Because, like those people <laughs> yeah. stay with me and they say, there "Hey, go. we're going on a history tour." Yeah. That's like oh, John will take great care of you. That's awesome. And I would imagine even like for. For people who are looking to move here, it's good to get that kind of a background. Um, I, I sell real estate as well, and I own Live Greenville. And so I have a lot of people that stay with me, and I put it out there, you know, on my website that I'm a realtor, and I help them find homes here. Yeah, so, fantastic. So, yeah, we Win -win. work together well. Yeah. <laughs> good, and we didn't even know it. <laughs> we didn't even know that we were working together. That's awesome. So, Artisphere is coming up this weekend. Yeah. Do you have uh, any openings in any of your tours this Ooh. weekend? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know, with uh, literally 100,000 people around yeah. there downtown, it's it makes it difficult for tours. Yeah. So I don't do the Chef's Table Tour this weekend or next just mm -hmm. because of graduations, art yeah. sphere, all of that. Um, I do my barbecue tour. Uh, this weekend is sold out, but um, I think I have openings the next weekend. Okay. Cool. Walking tours are hard too, you know, with those crowds. Yeah. So I do offer some driving tours. I do a one hour downtown driving tour. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's still manageable mm -hmm. uh, in the crowds. Good. Yeah. So, how long have you lived in Greenville? Are you a native? Or? Yeah. I wish I was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here 28 years. Okay. So, what brought you here? Uh, graduate school. Okay, so, and, and where were you doing graduate school? At Bob Jones University. Okay, and what are you currently doing? I teach uh, okay. art full time, and these tours are my second passion, probably maybe my main passion sometimes, but uh, um, yeah, I do both. You teach at Bob Jones? I do, yeah. Okay, cool. And um, what inspired you to start this business mm. of, of tours? Yeah. Well, it was just kind of one of those things. My wife and I were walking downtown, just kind of going to a store or something, and I noticed some a couple walking along the street and inquisitively looking around. And I thought, man, they probably want to know a lot more about this city. And I knew a little, but I thought, I'm going to read a lot more about it, see what see what some good things are about this city. And I was really surprised at the richness of the history here. Okay. So I was a history minor in college, and so I was just drinking it in. Yeah. And so I started coming up with ideas for a tour business, because I recognized that there were no tours in Greenville. Okay. And I thought, we're an up-and-coming city. Yeah. More and more people are coming downtown. Uh, let's do a, a tour business. Very good. So how would you get started? How did you get the word out? And, and how, do you, how do you find your clients now? Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, I started out with just an A-frame sign in front of City Hall okay. and listed the times when I would start the tours and whoever showed up, wow. I'd give them a tour. That's a good place to be, <laughs> right in front of the Visitor Center. Right, yeah. right. Good. Hey, Joyce. Joyce McCarroll from Cafe at Williams Hardware and Traveler's Rest. Do any of the tours cover areas outside of downtown? Mm. That's really interesting that you should ask that, Joyce, because before we went live, John and I were talking about how vibrant the food scene is in Traveler's Rest. Yes. So, who knows? Yeah. Maybe that's coming. That's, that's on my radar for yep. sure. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I find myself more and more hanging out and eating in Traveler's Rest. Yeah. I love, yep. love all of the restaurants that have come to Traveler's Rest. So, yep. yeah, that's a distinct possibility. So cool. Awesome. Well, um, what, um, what else would you like to tell us about your business? Uh, well, we mentioned a number of them that I do. Uh, I also do a historic neighborhoods tour. Okay. So that's a driving tour, and we go into Crescent Avenue, Earl Street, James Street, Hampton Pinckney, you okay. know, and see those wonderful old homes. And um, I tell about who the owners were and yeah. some of them and um, how those neighborhoods developed over time. Some of them had really bad periods where there were like, 
boarding houses and homeless people in them. I think this was a boarding house. I yeah. do think the inn was a boarding house, mm -hmm. and I would love to know the history yeah. of, of this house. This is our first location in the west end of Greenville. Mm -hmm. I know the history of the buildings across the street, mm -hmm. um, but I don't know much about the history of this house. So yeah. Maybe you can help me find that sure. out. Sure, <laughs> yeah, and so I, I actually, I'm wanting to do a book on the historic was, neighborhoods of Greenville. I was about to ask yeah. you, is there a book in the future? I, well, I've already there? done a book. It's okay. called uh, A Guide to Historic Greenville. So okay. it's all about the downtown area. Cool. But through these tours, I've learned a lot about these neighborhoods. And now I want to do a book on the historic sure. neighborhoods. For sure. Yeah. yeah. What, is, what is one of the most interesting things you've uncovered learning about the history of Greenville? Do you have Ooh. a favorite story or anecdote or <laughs> I, I really like to share uh, the Greenville's intersection with um, Albert Einstein okay you know I That's mean cool. it's such a odd hey, Lewis. thing having a connection with him here but it was actually his son Hans Albert Einstein that lived right near downtown here on Randall Street he lived here he lived here for six years oh, wow. he came over wow. from Europe and uh, so with him here and his and Einstein's grandkids, Einstein will come and visit Greenville. Sure. And um, the, I, I show a picture of him in Greenville on my tours when he was lecturing at Furman. Okay. And uh, he was lecturing at Furman. That's amazing. Yeah. Cool. And one of his grandchildren actually died here and uh -huh. is buried here at Woodlawn Cemetery. Really. And. That's Really yeah. interesting. Some connections. Yes, he was a smart fellow, Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah, now Ben Stein comes here to oh, visit right. his family. Yeah. So, must be something about... Um, and Harry Connick Jr. Yeah. You know, his daughter goes to Furman. She's, she's not there anymore, but oh, he used Oh, okay, to. okay, and, right. And yeah. he's coming to the Peace Center soon. Have to catch that. He's doing like a New Orleans tribute. I just oh, right. heard that. It's coming this summer. So, yeah. We have a lot of people who stay here and walk to the Peace Center and walk to the um, the what, Bombs of Corps for uh -huh. concerts and sure. things like that. So, um where can people find you and book your tours and all that good stuff? At GreenvilleHistoryTours.com is okay. my website uh, on Facebook. Greenville History Tours. But I also have Greenville Culinary Tours that focus on the food tours I do. And I post a lot of pictures of things that are served each time. Okay. Restaurant news, you know, when something's opening or closing, I'll post that. Okay, so, so you, you know, blog and yeah. people can follow along on your Facebook page, what's mm -hmm. going on. Cool, and if you have any um, anything you'd like John to uh, cover, he seems pretty uh, open into uh, following different paths. So connect with John on Facebook with Greenville History Tours, send him messages. And I just want to uh, thank you for being my guest. Sure. And I want to tell you about a few things we have coming up at the inn. Um, this next week will be our very first Truck In Tuesday of 2018. So May 8th in the parking lot of our downtown Greenville location. We will be uh, having our favorite food truck, Automatic Taco. King of Pops will be here. And we have the Rockabilly Rogues. Uh, this is a new band for us in our lineup. So wow. very excited to hear them. And then this Thursday at Downtown Alive, our favorite musicians, Local Green, will be performing. So everybody go out and support Local Green at, um, all, what's it called? Downtown Alive. <laughs> cool. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. And uh, this will be posted on our blog at Swamp Rabbit Inn with a lot of links to what John and I discussed in the show. So see you next Wednesday and hope to see you at Truckin' Tuesday, 6 to 9, May 8th. Bye. <laughs>